Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the drain pan in your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Pull the refrigerator away from the wall so you can access the rear of the appliance. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw to release the water inlet line coupler from the lower rear access panel. Unthread all of the screws to release the access panel. Reach in and bend the rear drain pan retaining tab up. Now open both doors, along with the water filter cover. Pull the toe kick plate free. Use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the filter housing. Use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw to release the water dispenser wire retainer from the frame. Unthread the screw securing the wire connector support bracket. Now move the bracket and water filter housing out of the way. Then lift out the polystyrene foam block. Remove the tape securing the front drain pan retaining tab, then bend the tab up. You can now remove the old drain pan. Install the new drain pan by inserting it through the front of the appliance. With the pan in place, bend the front retaining tab down and secure it with the tape. Reposition the polystyrene foam block. Reposition the filter housing and wire connector support bracket. Thread the screw to secure the bracket. Rethread the screw to secure the wire retainer to the frame. Secure the filter housing with the mounting screws. Reinstall the toe kick plate by aligning the clips on the plate with the brackets attached to the refrigerator frame. Then snap the plate into place. Close the water filter cover. Returning to the rear of the appliance, bend the rear retaining tab down to secure the drain pan. Reinstall the access panel. Be sure to secure the water inlet line coupler to the panel. Plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use.